A couple of weeks back, we did a video on a text exchange between a man and a woman when we entered the Twilight Phone. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Phone. The response to this video was insane. I am going to read some of the top comments and comment back. Kissable Styles says, Literally, I wish I had a book of texts to write ready at hand. It would be amazing. Matthew is so educational. Well, Kissable Styles, I want you to watch till the end of this video because I do have a program that does exactly that. It has all of the text messages I've written and it has all of the great verbal scripts that I know work with men time and time again. And so for anyone who liked that comment, watch till the end of this video because I have a free gift for you from that exact program that you're gonna love. Lisa Vega says, there's only one reason a guy pulls away and it's because he has his eye on someone he likes more, but he'll come back slash settle if his first choice turns him down. Well, that might be true. It's certainly possible and maybe even probable in some cases that he found someone he likes more. Or maybe he just doesn't like you that much right now. That sounds like a really negative thing, but I don't see it that way anymore. Now, let me be clear. I'm not talking about a guy you've been on 10 dates with. I'm not talking about a guy you've been seeing for three months. I'm talking about the guy you just met in a bar last week or the guy you just met on Tinder or Bumble who right now is being kind of flaky and low investment. I've stopped blaming people for being flaky in those early stages. I used to get upset by it. I used to take it very personally. I don't these days because I look at it and I go, well, what did I expect? They don't know me. They don't know my life. They don't know how much I have to offer them. They don't know how happy I could possibly make them. How attracted somebody is to us today is only a reflection of how they feel today. It's not a reflection of how attracted they could be three months or six months from now. Now that's not a warrant for you to go and start trying harder with that person. I want to be very clear. This isn't me saying you should go and force someone to get to know you better so they'll be more attracted. It's just a pressure valve for us to be more understanding and to be less angry and to take it less personally in the early stages when someone's not trying. And by the way, a lot of other people said, well, if he's flaky now, then he'll be flaky forever. I don't buy that either. If he's proactively rude or impolite or sarcastic, those are personality traits. And it would be wise to say, he's probably going to be this way in a relationship too. But not trying very hard right now in the early stage, that's not a personality trait. Many of us have had people in the past that we didn't try very hard with simply because they hadn't become a major part of our lives. They were still a very small part of our lives and our thoughts and we didn't even know them very well. So why would we care that much? I know it sucks. No one wants to hear that someone isn't interested in them on the level that they want. But it doesn't do us any favors to start judging that person for it. Let me be clear, just because someone isn't interested in us, it doesn't make them a bad person. It just makes them someone who isn't interested in us. And that doesn't mean he's just not that into you. It might mean more accurately, he's just not that into you right now, right? That might be a more accurate depiction. And let me tell you the greatest point of leverage you still have to get someone interested in you who doesn't seem to be trying hard enough right now. It's not trying harder, it's having character. Which brings me to Gen Music Official. I would have replied, cool story, bro, have a good life. I think my reply is better than Matthew's. How dare you? She's referring to the reply I sent him on behalf of my friend when he gave all his excuses for falling off the map. I said, all good, have a great week. All right, Jameson, let's compare these two. So she's saying, cool story, bro, have a good life is better than me saying, all good, have a great week. There seems to be a subtle difference, though, between them, doesn't there? There's like something... They're both, they're both low investment. Yeah, they're both low investment. Yeah, definitely. But hers, there's something different about hers. It's sort of... Oh, yeah. It's angry. It's passive aggressive. It shows that he has power over you and your emotions. And by the way, when I hear that cool story, bro, have a good life, it's, ugh, I get like chills because you just sound so angry to me. Jen, here's what you're getting wrong. You're conflating investment with energy and they're two very different things. See, people often think that when I talk about having a great energy with someone, that I'm saying try, 
give them more. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you can be low investment at the same time as being great energy. And the combination of those two things is often the one-two punch that really gets someone attracted. People with options, people who are winning, people who are doing great things and, and happy, they don't get angry when someone doesn't get back to them. Instead, they just move forward with their life. They don't sit there waiting. Winners don't wait. They move forward in their life. Jameson, new t-shirt idea, winners don't wait. They keep going, they meet more men, they go out with their friends. They don't make sacrifices mentally or physically for that person. But when that person does come back in, they're not angry. They may have moved the person into a different category where they say, well, this person's pretty low investment right now and they're not trying very hard, so I'm not gonna try very hard. But that's not the same as being angry. So now when that person reaches out, you can say, all good, I hope you're having a great time doing what you're doing, I'm happy to know everything's going well. And leave it at that, because what you know mentally is, you're gonna have to try, and you're gonna have to really invest for me to go back to investing on the level that I did before. But allowing someone to earn their way back isn't the same as being angry. Anger makes us less attractive to the people around us. That's what we're avoiding right now. Remember, low investment is fine but low energy and bad energy, that's what can cost us someone great. What I wanna make sure is that people understand the principles of communication that allow them to always present the best version of them, the most confident, sexy, self-assured version of them. I hope that you guys follow me because you like being able to do exactly that. And for those of you who do want a head start, you do want to know some of the best things that you can say to somebody. I said earlier on, I have a program called How to Talk to Men. This program literally gives my best scripts for how to communicate with the opposite sex. Well, today, I want to give you a free chapter. So you don't have to invest in it right now, just see what it's all about. This free chapter is on flirting, and I give you some great scripts, some great lines that you can say to a guy to flirt. And you can make them your own, you don't have to follow mine exactly, but they'll give you 90% of what you need. So go download it, it's at getthefreechapter.com. I will see you over there.